Oh, hi, Sean. I didn't see you there. Kong, your book is upside down. Oh, damn it. Oh, hey, Sean. I didn't see you there. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great, too. Okay, so we're going to ask you some questions so that Dear Straight People's followers will get to know you better before we launch your video series. Let's do it. So, what's this book you were reading about? Um, can you ask me something else? Okay, so describe yourself in three words. Um, systematic, assertive, and family-oriented. How would your friends describe you in three words? Um, sexy, smart, and intimidated. <laughs> I was just joking. So how do you say your full name in Thai? Uh, Aritat Tangsanga. If you have to pick an English name for yourself, what would it be? Definitely not Sean. You're such a bitch. What is one Thai word you wish foreigners would stop mispronouncing? Um, you know, I, I cannot think of a word. I just appreciate foreigners trying to learn our language. You know, and huh. yeah. Give us the best Thai tongue twister you know. Uh, what does that mean? The green bowl is turned down in the morning and the white bowl is turned down in the evening. Okay, what is one Thai stereotype that annoys you? Oh, I'm not sure it's a Thai stereotype, but um, like people at work tend to take criticism so personally. Not like that. So, what is your favorite thing about being a doctor? Um, because people tend to believe everything I say. If you weren't a doctor, what would you be? If I what? If you weren't a doctor, what would you be? I would be a diplomat. Would you rather watch your parents have sex for ten years of your life or just join in one time? Ew! Oh, is that your niece? Yes, yeah, she is. She's cute, isn't she? She is. What's her name? Uh, Ray Zhang. So what do you usually do when you hang out with your niece? We sing, we dance, and I think she likes it when I read to her. What's the most important thing that you want your niece to know? Uh, right now, I want her to know that she's loved, and later on when she grows up, maybe the importance of honesty. Aww. Do you want kids of your own? Try two or three. Wow, what kind of dad do you think you'll be? I'll be an emotionally present kind of dad. <laughs> okay, apart from disturbing your niece, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, first of all, I never disturb her, um, but I do exercise, um, I meditate and I read a lot. Who's your favorite singer? Hands down, Mariah Carey. Favorite Mariah song? Ah, my god, I cannot believe you asked me this question, but I have to say, can't take that away. Least favorite Mariah song? Um, Jenny from the Block. Oh, that's very shady. Most <laughs> underrated Mariah song. All of them. Can't take it away. Um, Fly like a bird. And I need the stars. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Give us your best Mariah impression. Um, I don't know her. Try give us your best Mariah singing impression. Oh God. You put me on the spot. And later. Then a hero comes along. With a strength to carry on Please stop Okay, how often do you work out? Four to five times a week What made you first start working out? Because I want to get bigger I was 51 kg before I started working out Is that the first thing like you notice about a guy? Like how big he is? <laughs> no, but I noticed how big his smile is Okay, do you remember when was the first time you came out? Mm. I came out at 16 to my best friend and then two months, sorry, two weeks after I came out to my parents. And how did they take it? They were totally fine and very supportive. I think they somehow already knew. <laughs> That's great. So, do you remember who your first celebrity crush was? Mm -hmm. Nick Lachey from 98 Degrees. <laughs> what about Nick Lachey attracted you to him? Uh, back then, because he could sing. And he has a nice body and a great face. Yeah. Would you date someone with your personality? Oh hell no. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how my boyfriend, you know, handles me on a daily basis. What is a deal breaker for you? Someone who is very needy. What's the biggest misconception that people who have never met you have about you? They think I'm. 
which body part are you most happy with? Uh, I would say my arms. Can, can, you, can you flex for the camera? No, I can't. How often do you swim? Um, twice a week. Do you actually enjoy swimming or is it just part of your cardio? I do enjoy it a lot, it calms me down. Are there any other sports that you're into? I like badminton. Um, that's pretty much. And I played hockey a bit when I was young. What is your ultimate aspiration in life? Um, I do have a lot of goals, but I think the ultimate aspiration would be to stay present and enjoy the now. Do you have any role models? Um, my dad in terms of work, and I think my mom in terms of uh, interpersonal relationship. Would you like to be a role model? If I could, I would. Do you have like a life motto that you live by? Um, yeah, stay the now, stay present. What made you first agree to doing Ask Dr. Kang on Dear Straight People? <laughs> I feel like Dear Straight People could be a great platform for me to give something back to the community. When did you first hear about Dear Straight People? When you guys did an interview uh, with my friend uh, Teek. Oh, so how did you first meet Teek? Just like every gay relationship. Uh, we met in the gay locker room. <laughs> the gay locker room. Do, do you mean a sauna? <laughs> we met in the gym locker room. Oh. Yeah. What was your first impression of him? That he's very formal. And he's not now? <laughs> he's still very formal. <laughs> okay, so what do you hope viewers get out of watching Ask Dr. Khan? Um, you know, some joy and a little bit of knowledge. Okay, so that was the last question. That's it? Yes. It's not even 7 to 3. Yeah, but I'm tired, bye. Ask Dr. Kang is an upcoming video series on Dear Straight People. We aim to deliver informative and engaging content with particular emphasis on gay health. Please like, share, and subscribe to Dear Straight People. And we'll be back soon with a new episode. So how did you first meet Teek? I first met Teek just like every other Oh grinder. <laughs> Give us your best Mariah impression. Um I don't know her. No, I want you to sing. What? <laughs> Do your best Mariah whis uh, whistle. I don't know. Die kenne ich nicht. <laughs>